what is going on YouTube? So in today's video, we in the B16 Civic. I'm doing a little drive around. Hopefully the camera looks all right. It's bouncing a lot. I don't know if it's uh, the B16 with these mounts or if it's just how this car rides, but it seems like I'm getting a lot of flutter. So I'm gonna have to pull over and check that. But yeah, we're driving this around to get a little bit of a before um, handling effect. And then we got some good old Max Speed and Ride coilover that we're gonna throw in this thing. This car is long overdue for that. Uh, it's got some eBay, uh, the sleeves that I was talking about for like 50 bucks. So they are complete garbage. Like, like brother, the whole car does this year, like hot and shit. But. So we're coming up on the bridge. I'm just running normal speeds, like about 58. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how brutal this is. Like, I don't know, that's just, that's just weird. Baby shit that I own, so.
When you slide the little silver collars on the bottom of these um, match speed and ride coilovers, you will have to open up your forks a little bit so that it slides in there smooth. But don't worry, once you put your bolt in there and tighten it, it'll pull it back together. But this is just a little bit oversized for um, what this fits. But if you don't put this ring on there, then this will move around in the inside. So you need that ring, but then again, at the same time, it's a little bit bigger than this so you'll have to what i do i take my pickle fork and i just stick it right up in this little area here and hit it with the hammer a couple times and it'll spread it right open so you can get that in there you can see here's the the silver little collar that you slide on at the bottom and with this spread open now we can slide this back down over the axle and stuff and pull it right up onto that collar, just like that. And then we'll put that 14 mil bolt back through the back. Get the gun out and tighten it down. Not bad, boys. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, yeah. Really not too bad. A little bit of a gap there, which is perfect. It's sitting right on the tire. Yeah, that looks really good. Probably be a little lower than that once it settles, but... Yeah, looking good, man. Yeah, it's really, really that simple, man. And if you if you uh, notice, man, that, that suspension that was on here was really, really sketchy. Those are the um, coilover sleeve things that they came out with a, a long time ago, and everybody was buying them because they uh, assumed it would allow you to adjust your ride height, and it don't really do none of that. And plus, you're putting it on a stock strut, so it's bound to just blow it out. It's just too much travel for that thing to keep up. So um, yeah, that's that's complete garbage, uh, which is to be expected for something that's only 50 bucks. You knew that was just not gonna work, but we were cool. I mean, Fast and Furious had all of us doing kind of dumb stuff at one point in time, but yeah, um, good thing Max Speed and Rise got these full body coilovers for such a good price, because I remember one of my first sets I ever got um, was D2s for my Blue Accord, and those things were, like seven hundred dollars or something like that. So um, yes, yeah, really, these colo, especially full bodies like this, with the adjustability of the dampening, man, that that stuff gets really expensive. One guy coming in my last video and was saying I don't daily drive mine. That's why I don't see the problems in them. So hopefully, we're gonna try to slap a set on this bad boy, and uh, I want to try to do the same thing I did last time with my H to B and do like a year update and I'm just gonna drive the piss out of it and see uh, if, if something messes up man I like I said I'm trying to cover the whole fleet in the yard with max speed and ride stuff just so anything I drive will be on max speed and ride and hopefully if something's wrong with them it'll show up and I can I can let you know because I'm, I'm telling y'all right now I've been running them pretty much since I got rid of my blue accord and I've had no issues out of them. sometimes Depending on make a model or fitment, it might be a little wonky, like putting it in there, um, up into the car. But 
other than that, I mean, I've, I've yet to see a reason, man, to spend triple that on a set of coilovers. And most of the time, I don't do nothing but drive it to a show, drive it to a meet, you know, stuff like that. So I just don't see it. guys so we got it wrapped up got it sitting here purring a little bit um, I guess we'll do a little quick around the block cruise and see the difference see if we can feel a difference and stuff and then uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this video up man but I can already tell from like pressing on the car it's a lot firmer it feels a whole lot better man you guys saw you guys saw what was on this car, straight trash. So, Max Speed and Rise definitely has us hooked up. Know this thing's gonna ride a lot better. Woo, it is hot guys, it is hot.
yeah back at the house now guys the car feels like night and day like so much better now this is an incline that we own but i think that the rear is up just a tad bit too high so i'm gonna have to lower that down just a little bit but it is on an uneven surface right now so that could be contributing to it a lot like this side looks a lot lower than the other side do but yeah man this thing feels so much better but with that being said guys i'm gonna wrap this video up right here as always remember to check out max speed and rides for your coilover knees as well as a lot of other stuff honda bmw they got some of everything on there so just go to their website even if you don't plan on buying nothing just browse around because i'm um, telling you this stuff works man so far i've yet to be disappointed so that being said i will catch y'all in the next one remember respect all bills peace out